The tradition of kite flying in Guyana is second to none. Why? Because there's a certain pride that goes with kites at Easter time. And not just any kind of kite will do, you must get the traditional Guyanese kite, better known as the singing engine kite. Today, we will take you through the steps and teach you how to make one and where you can purchase one of these beauties if you are not crafty with your hands. Are you ready to embark on a truly epic adventure to an undiscovered corner of South America? where some of the most spectacular natural attractions are unveiled within a beautifully diverse landscape. From the wetlands and savannas to the ancient mountains, magnificent waterways and lush and rich rainforest would provide a vast playground for some of the most exotic and breathtaking creatures on the planet. Including many of the world's giant species. This untouched land of mystery and wonder serves up an exclusive experience for travelers. So, are you ready for a new, awe inspiring adventure? Welcome back to nature. Welcome to Guyana. In the production of a singing engine kite, there are a few things you will need. These are softwood, bamboo, nails, kite paper, paste, a saw, scissors and twine, all of which are not hard to find. Once you have got the materials, it is time to get crafty and build your kite. You first nail the pieces of wood together. You then cut the wood to the size that best suits you. Next, you make grooves at the end of the wood then use the twine to frame the kite. Small holes are then placed at the bottom and top of the wood. That is to facilitate the framing of the kite and to support the head and tail of the kite. We now frame the kite with the twine giving it its star shape. The nose and head of the kite is then added. The head is made from bamboo and is shaped thin. It is then placed at the top of the kite. Ok, the easy part is over. This is where it gets technical and years of experience steps in. That is, adding a star to the kite that will add the glamour to the masterpiece. Now we fashion. First, you add paste to the entire frame of the kite. You then place the kite paper on the frame of the kite. This step calls for patience. One wrong step and you might have to frame the kite all over again. The inner star is first covered which calls for steady hands. After that is completed, the outer part of the frame is covered. The wings of the kite are then added. This is commonly referred to as the frills of the kite. It is placed at the side of the kite. The wings help balance the kite when it is in the air. Two loops are then added to the top and bottom of the kite. Those are what the holes that were placed on the kites help to facilitate. These steps also cause for precision and experience as it is a determining factor in whether the kite flies or not. You have to then add what is known as the bull or tongue of the kite. This is what makes the kite sing when in the air as breeze hits it. After that, your kite is made and you are ready to fly with additional twine and cloth or rope as your tail. Popular kite maker out of Boxton, Marvin Cole, shares some additional tips on making kites. Cole has been making kites for three decades and is one of the few persons that is keeping the art of kite making alive. Well, you got to make sure that you get it right, the frame get the right weight, and the ear ain't too big, because if it's too big, you go up with a bow and a lap. Yeah. And secondly, you got to know the size of the kite, to use the size of the twine and the tail. If you put every twine on a kite, it wouldn't go up. If you put a too light twine, it would just pitch in all the time. If you're going to fly a kite for Easter, you must do it in style. Not inclined to making your own, then you can pick up one from Marvin Kite Shop in Boxton. When you come to my kite shop, you don't come and I give you a kite and then you can carry it home and make the loop. When you come to my kite shop, you get everything complete. The loop, tail, everything fixed. If you come and say you like a frill on a kite, they could change it for you. You gotta pay the difference. You say you're gonna fly the kite in two inch height, I say you want a refund, or you need one of me workers to go and test fly with you. We get no problem. I guarantee you that. Kite flying for Guyanese is the hallmark of Easter. And all over the country, kites will surely be seen dotting the skies 
days, even weeks before the Easter Monday. Thanks for joining us for this kite making special. Happy Easter to all and remember to fly your kites in wide open spaces away from power lines. Goodbye.